Headrush Prime, the new product by Eleven, is now pre-configured within Camelot. Let's look at some of the new features of this modeler and see how pairing it with Camelot makes our performances fast and intuitive. I'm Mattia Santi, and I'll be your guide to discovering this wonderful pedal board. Every month, we share free presets for Headrush Prime. To find out more, check the link below or subscribe to our social channels to stay updated on all the latest news. First, connect MIDI out from your MIDI interface, which may be part of your audio interface, to MIDI in on the Headrush Prime. If you're not yet a Camelot user, but want to find out more about it, download the free version of Camelot using the link in the bio section below. Now, let's open Camelot Pro and proceed with creating a new set list. To provide users with the greatest versatility, Headrush Prime doesn't have a default map for MIDI program changes. We will set each preset in Prime with the program change we want to call it. To do this, we focus our attention on the Headrush. First, we need to enable our Headrush to receive MIDI program changes. Tap the menu icon in the upper left corner of the screen, tap the global settings button in the lower right corner, and finally, tap the MIDI tab in the list on the right to enter the MIDI settings section. Tap receive for the program change setting and you should be all set. Click on advanced settings and a window appears where we can set the colors of our foot switches, tap to enter a tempo, and set the custom program change. Click on the program change selection window, and with this encoder, select the desired program change. I have already assigned 23 program changes, so Headrush will recognize the first available program change, number 24. Now we save the selection, and that's it. We can execute this step for all the presets we want to integrate into Camelot. Now let's move to the Scenes view to complete the configuration of Headrush Prime. A scene has already been created by default, so we just need to rename it and then add all the other scenes we need. We complete the Prime configuration in the Scene Layers section. Click the plus button and follow the guided procedure to create a new layer. Once the layer is created, click on the plus button to add an item. Then, on Instruments and Devices, Hardware Devices, and, finally, select the Prime Map. I can also type the name of the item I want into the search bar to speed up the process. All we have to do now is assign the desired program change to our item. In the song I composed for this video, I assigned Crunch to Program Change 1, Clean to Program Change 2, Lead to Program Change 3, and the second lead to Program Change 4. Lastly, we will insert our backing track in the Timeline view. Click on the plus button in the backing track section and select our reference track. Then, add the scenes for our song parts by clicking on the plus button in the scene changes section and adding the scene changes. As we can see, all our scenes appear in the list ready to be used. I hope this video helps you simplify your live experience with Headrush Prime. Remember that you can download the free version of Camelot and the presets by clicking on the links in the bio section below. If you have questions or want further information, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.